Today we're raiding AI-generated Magic the Gathering cards, starting off with the Hand of Life. We got a Black 2 Generic 2 2 Elf Druid. That's flying! Oh wow. Elves fly now, and whenever a Hand of Life attacks, exile the top card of your library. And if it's a creature card, put on the battlefield! Oh my goodness. If you do, return a Hand of Life to its owner's hand. You know what? This is not super fast, not so easy to take advantage of the, uh, the, what's it called, uh, you gotta manipulate the top of your deck if you wanna be able to put some big fatty on the battlefield. And you can't even repeat this process over and over again every single turn, because you return the hand of life back to your hand. I think this could be a pass. I think this could be a real card. I mean, even if you ramp this thing out on turn two, like, you would have to randomly have to have a creature on top of your deck. And your deck's probably filled with, like, I don't know, ramp cards. You'll very often probably hit a Birds of Paradise or a Wall of Roots or something. So, all right, Hand of Life. I'm going to pass. Pass on the Hand of Life. If you guys think this is broken, you know, let me know. <laughs> it looks like it could be broken in some, in some circumstance. We got the Weed Alteration for a white. It's a 1-1 one, one Zombie. What, cleaning up the weeds? I guess it was born from the weeds. What's all these weeds doing around me? As it comes out of the grave. When weed alteration enters the battlefield, you may return target enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. That is a very cheap cost for this effect. Is this 420 friendly? Is that what weed is that what weed we're we're doing here? It's yeah, it's the 420 zombie zombie. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Deadhead. Uh, and it doesn't hit the opponent. Oh, we're talking about the last one. This is a flavor F minus. What? Why? Because of the uh, yeah, shit for 420. Is it really a four? Well, whatever. It's picking something. I don't know what kind of weed it's going for, but uh, at the very least, it is return. It looks like good value for one man. It's not broken, so. We definitely can pass this one. And repeatable with blink can block pretty good overall. Oh yeah, that's true. You got a lot of enchantments. I don't know, what is the, where are you going to play this? Some sort of ley line deck? An aura deck? I don't know. You let me know in the comments section below. Alright, moving on. We got stone lives for white. It doesn't even have a card type. Put all cards from your hand onto the battlefield. Oh my goodness. Okay, I agree with this deserves all the sound effects. Put all cards from your hand onto the back. It's a one-sided hypergenesis. This is ridiculous. You've heard of hypergenesis, but well, guess what? This is hypergenesis minus, I don't know, divided by two. Because it only works for you. I don't have to. It's, it's so far beyond any card in Magic the Gathering that it doesn't even have a card type. For all we know, this is a permanent. It is the Stone Lives, after all. Yeah, this is Stone... Stone Cold Steve Austin Cool. Anyway, this is, uh... <laughs> stone Lives right before... Yeah, the, the Weed Alteration Zombie. You take enough weed, you might turn into a zombie. All right, it's, but I see the theme of this uh, AI set all of a sudden. What if it's an instant? Oh God! End of turn, stone lives. Good luck force negating that. Am I just supposed to like throw my instants and sorceries on the field as well? Yes. Yeah, you do, and I guess uh, I guess they get cast as well. Hence why this has no card type. It's breaking all. It's breaking all space and time and fabric of the multiverse. Yeah, what happens to the instants and sorceries on the battlefield? They're permanents, I guess. You deal with it! Anyway, this is a clear... This is a clear no-no. There's no way in hell we're gonna put all cards from our hand onto the battlefield. Oh my. Okay, moving on. Uh, we got the Wartime Bears. It's a Black 3 Generic 3-2 Spectre. I don't know what a bear and specters have in common with each other. Whenever wartime bearers... Sorry, it's not war... You know, sorry, it's wartime bears. Whenever wartime bears deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. That is very lukewarm. That is the most playable card uh, the AI has made in an incredibly long time. That art. Is it funny? I don't get it. 
I don't know, it's a bear cyborg as far as I'm concerned. Some of you look like you want to even play you want to play this card. I, I don't know what to say about this thing. It's a it's a thieving magpie on a bear or an ophidian on a bear. Sorry, it's a sorry, it's not even a bear. It's a specter. But it is a wartime wartime bears. Not a 2 2. Oh yeah, big flavor fail. Bear isn't a 2 2. Wow. Yeah. Hence why it's not actually a bear. They upgraded it to a specter, but anyway. Yeah, we can pass on the wartime bearers. Nimble leader. All right, we got a red two generic two one flying human monk because that's what they do these days Or it looks like they're flying through a bunch of paperwork on the cop copying machine for all we know that they are uh, Printing out a proxied commander deck for all I know Flying a white and one generic until end of turn nimble leader becomes a three three printer instead which is actually OP in Magic the Gathering, because then you can print out any deck you want. If you have a proxy-friendly tournament, go right ahead. It, it, it makes me wonder, with the cost of the ink, it's not entirely free to be proxying out your stuff. I mean, there's a, there is a little bit of a cost to it, you know? Plus, you got to buy the sleeves to put your proxies in. I wonder what the average proxy deck costs. Like, I don't know, $20 or something? It lose it does it does it lose flying until in a turn nimble leader becomes a 3-3 printer instead well I mean it makes sense it, it's I don't know if it's still a flying pr printer I don't know can we use inspiring leader to print the reserve list yes yeah you can any flavor judges or like judges in general know how to deal with this I think it becomes a 3-3 printer with flying but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it just removes all abilities into a 3-3. <laughs> Imagine a flying printer out there. Yeah, gonna make printer tri <laughs> Printer tribal. It keeps flying. I don't see why it would lose it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, in my opinion as well. I guess... And printer can be a creature type. Yeah, this is a total pass. I, I mean, it's a bit weird. And maybe breaks the fourth wall in terms of, you know, Magic the Gathering lore. Truth be told, we wield a printer maybe more than anything else in Magic the Gathering. But, uh, hey, uh, I don't see it actually breaking the rules, so we're going to print it. Good job, AI. Okay, the Flickeritz Fur. A white three generic enchantment hair with a literal picture of a bunny that's not even art. It's just it's the picture of someone's pet rabbit. Return flickering fur to its owner's hand. Uh, that's a cost. Until end of turn, creatures you control have plus one, plus one, and have indestructible. At the beginning of your upkeep, populate! Populate is the, uh, is the mechanic where you get to create a copy of a token that's already on the battlefield. I believe it extends to more than just creature tokens. I think you can make, like, treasure tokens and stuff like that. So this will perpetually populate every turn. It looks like a normal card. I have a feeling a lot of people even want to play would would want to play this in an enchantment deck or sorry, in a uh, in their commander deck. This thing is this is mon is it? Monstrously strong. It looks it's a rabbit for crying out loud. How dangerous can it be? Pl pretty flavorful if you ever had ra if you ever had rabbits before. Oh yeah, they 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 screw like bunnies, don't they? They are very uh pop whatever. They 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 like to populate. That's right. That he, bunnies among all creatures populate the most. There is no uh, until end of Oh yeah, it's is it permanent until No, it says until end of turn. Creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1 and have indestructible. I think this is going to be a real card. But, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the populate happens every upkeep, though. Yeah, yeah, it's there. It's there. I think even if it had indestructible permanently, it would be fine. Like, what's wrong with that? The, the enchantment is literally four mana. And you can, and, but you can keep re reusing this over and over again. Where's the creature type? Uh, I don't know. What do you mean by where's the creature? Where's the creature type? Doesn't need one. It's an enchant. Oh, yeah, it's weird. It's a hair enchant. Okay, so it's like a it's it's like a tribal uh, card, just like Bitter Blossom is a is a fairy enchantment. This is an enchantment hair. Got it? All right. Flukeret's fur. You pass. 
We got a nice looking island. And then we got the Umbral Despair. We got a red, uh, one red aura enchant creature. Enchant creature has beard equal to the number of attacking creatures and planeswalkers you control. You got it. I don't, I don't know what to say about this card. The beard is equal to the number of attacking creatures. I'm not printing this card. It makes no sense. And beard, unless beard is some sort of mechanic that we don't know about yet. Yeah, ship it as an uncard. Best dwarf deck staple. Yeah, your beard. You think you have a long beard? Well, just wait until I attack with this army. Then we'll see who has the longest beard in the multiverse. You beard like a good old rock and stone. Yeah, we need beard counters. Fear the beard. This is a black card in red. Are you sure? Black beard. Anyone have a beard out there? I'm not anti-beard, but like, you know, I could I keep it clean around here. With great beard comes great responsibility and maintenance. You know, getting food in there is very, very annoying. I get food on my face all the time, and I don't even have a beard. I can't imagine how much worse my life will be if I had a beard on me. Beard. When this takes damage, take X less damage equal to its beard. Is that true? I always wondered in fighting, like, in, like, MMA or boxing, does the beard offer any protection at all? Or is it a liability? Like, can someone just grab your beard or something like that? But no one ever has a beard, or very rarely I see anyone with a beard on. Martial Arts Beard Master. <laughs> like a true MTG player, I only have a neck beard. I only know when it's time to cut down the beard when it gets in the way of eating. There you go, exactly. It gets in the way. <laughs> oh, shave X, remove X beard counters from target permanent. And somehow it gets weaker. Anyway, okay, we're I'm I'm not passing this card. This is a bit stupid. This is not a real card. Votamida Rend Leaders. We got a white 05 imp creature with first strike and death touch. That's right. When I want my creature to have first strike and death touch, I really enjoy that it has zero power. Which makes it completely useless. Now uh, remove a plus one plus one counter from Votamida Rend Leaders, which it doesn't even come into play with counters on it. Look at look at target attacking creature. I got my eyes on you. So I mean, if I somehow get a counter on this through I don't beats me, uh, I can look at target attacking creature. I guess under normal circumstances, I'm not allowed to look at those creatures. But look, he's coming right for us. Yeah, look, look at look at target attacking creature. Just look. Fair for one. It's very fair. I mean, for one mana, how big do walls get for one mana? I guess it's not any different from any other card. Oh, yeah. Look, Abzo. Gonna start building the Doran deck around this. It's in the right colors as well. Remove a counter. Mmm, they do. <laughs> they do be attacking. Oh, Grand Fatso, 0 5, first strike, death touch is actually interesting. It'd be OP for one mat for one otherwise. Now you have to give it power somehow, so it's kind of fair. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you can try to build around this card, you have but still it's like one mana for a 0 5 do nothing. And then you have to give it the power later. So you're like working hard to turn it into a useful wall. I mean, yeah, okay, I get it. So like if you get death touch, if you get a power online. Basically, nobody can attack into this thing. So I guess it's an interesting, it's an interesting card in that way. But it has, it's got the unset ability. Look at that creature. Look at it go. Just have to equip it. Oh yeah, that's true. All right. Equip it, and it's already a over OP card. It's a good blocker, and with the buffs, it could get really powerful. Don't think it's bad. All right, I'm still gonna disqualify this card. Because looking at target attacking creature is not, it's not a mechanic of Magic the Gathering. And it actually makes no difference whatsoever. Uh, the rest of the card is actually quite interesting. So props to that. Votamida Rend Leaders. Whatever the hell that is. Okay, we got the Sivanthon Prep, the Urgast. 
It's a green, two generic, three, five, flying. Lifeful Spunk. Creatures, your Revel Tacker, you may put three creature counters on your turn. Yes. I will put the creature counters on my turn. Every turn. <laughs> and only for the creatures that Revel Tacker. We need more Revel Tackers in this game to completely make this thing OP. Now, outside of that, it's like a flying 3-5 creature for 3 mana. That's actually pretty impressive. So I imagine maybe... I guess if you have several of these... No, hold on. I don't know what Rival Tacker is. No, forget it. Yeah, the creature counters. <laughs> but, well, I mean, maybe it turns, like, I don't know, enchantments and artifacts into creatures. You put them creature counters on it, boom, you're alive. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to quietly move on from that one. We got Widul, uh, Intraless for a red, two generic. It's a rat. It's a legendary artifact rat. What is going on here? Is it like a bionicle, uh, bionicle rat? I can't see exactly what's happening here. It's a little bit weird. A lot of the rat pieces have been peeled off of them. Okay, when Windil Intraless enters the battlefield... Sack a creature. If you do, create a black Frexian horror creature token with this creature gets plus one plus zero for as long as there are four or more card types among cards in your graveyard. That's a real card. It's crap. Like, it's really bad. You basically pay a red two generic to have this useless artifact on the battlefield. It makes you sack a creature. Actually, the creature doesn't even have power. It's dead. Yeah, it comes into play dead. It's like a 0, zero horror. They didn't specify anything. No stats token, sadly. This creature gets... Plus it is a creature, though, so it's literally alive. I'm pretty sure it's just coming into play as a 0, zero and dies immediately. All right, so... Uh, I mean, it's a, legal, it's a legal card, but practically speaking, it's useless. Unless you need a death trick. You need two death triggers here. You sack a creature, then you sack your stupid Frexian that entered the battlefield. You can't cast. The token has no status. Well, you're not casting anything. I dread the day the AI starts making emblems. I think it has before. It's not too late. But no info about the attack and toughness, no. We're just going to have to make it up. I just assume it's a 0-0 zero, zero by default. Oh, yeah, and it's a mythic. Just a random mythic in your booster pack. Enjoy your rat Frexian thing. Okay, we got... Ooh, I like this. The Dread... <laughs> the Dread Burger. Okay, it's... And you look at the image. It looks like some sort of... Actually, it looks like a pile of fries with a toque on it. All right, it's a two-mana Dread Burger artifact. Pay a green. Sacrifice a human? Oh, my goodness. Sounds like cannibalism. Draw a card. That is a burger I would dread. Where'd this, ooh, this meat? It's so unique. I've never eaten this before. Where did it come from? Well, the dread burger, you know, there's some secrets that should be, yeah, very sus meat. The sus, the sus mute meat, not, not a human creature. Get F, Jerry. Yeah, dread burger. You're gonna dread being in this burger place. Are you coming to eat a burger or are you gonna be the burger? He'd be com uh, he'd be compent. She took at free, but once crudles down reconstruction. Yeah, sure. Arkham Dre Arkham Dagson Soldevi Machinist. Can you sacrifice yourself? Well, not really. I don't think so. Sacrifice a human creature. Soil and green. I don't know what that means. Welcome. If it had a tap symbol, I'd say it was fair. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I think this is fair. Green, paying a green and sacking a whole human. I think that's pretty broken. And But that would have pretty good synergy. For, so far as off, the card is fine. I, I, I think this card is good. Uh, and it would probably have pretty good synergy with some of those humans where when it dies, you put like a token onto the battlefield. Like, uh, what, what is it? Oh, maybe it... Uh, no, but it still has to be a human. I was thinking of like uh, Dread Wanderer or something like that. Some, like, human for one mana. You sack, you get a spirit. But then you can't sack the spirit after that. Skull Clamp was two draw a card. Um, yeah, but you have to sack a human here. 
And... Oh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's broken. I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, maybe this this has parallels to Skull Clamp, but Skull Clamp drew, drew you two cards. This only draws you one. Yeah, Doom Traveler and stuff like that. Anyway, I think it's I think it's a pretty cool card. I think it's one of the better ones that the AI has generated. That isn't completely obviously busted. All right, we got the standard Pegasus, just your standard Pegasus, white one generic for a two-two shapeshifter with Bloodthirst two. An opponent. Was dealt damage this turn this creature enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it that's pretty sick so this can be a two mana four four it's not quite tarmogoyf it's actually still worse than tarmogoyf but it's not bad the star like ether mines ripping them fall for fall from them very wise words uh source unknown filler it's a really filler Standard Pegasus <laughs> that can't fly, but lust <laughs> for lust for blood. You can see it in the image. Those them wings be down. The wings be down, and uh, it's just full of blood splatter. He's missing his leg. You see this? There's no leg here. Lost in combat. This thing lusts for blood for battle. <laughs> can't fly. Gets bigger with violence. Yes, he'll eat you. Pretty flavorful shapeshifter, pretending to be a Pegasus. Standard Pegasus, nothing. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. How you do, fellow Pegasus? Or I don't. I don't know how to say multiple Pegasuses. Pegasi. How you do, my fellow Pegasi? <laughs> nothing to see. I just missing one arm, and I can't actually fly. Five legs, but has lost one. Is there? Oh yeah. <laughs> one, two. Three, four, five. Just like some random one on the left over here. You can never have enough legs, says AI. The AR the AI art. Anyway, I like this one. Uh real card. Very real card. Looks like something that would come out like a I don't know, you know, a Horizon Master set or something like that. It legitimately could be like a Death and Taxes card, I think. I don't know. It has no evasion, but it can be a pretty big beefy creature. Where's the standard on this? Should be a one black Peg Pegasus zombie. Oh, I guess so. Well, it's a shapeshifter, right? Just pretending to be like a regular Pegasus. <laughs> it has butt wings. Wings from its butt. Maybe that's why it can't fly. How do you use these things, the shapeshifter says. This doesn't even work the way I want it to work. This is ridiculous. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe maybe if it, like, took a better sight of how a Pegasus actually used its wings or where it grew its wings, it would fly properly. I mean, all it would be flying from its butt. Its butt would be in the air. Head would be going down. Anyway, maybe that's how they lost the arm. Arm was lost flying through, I don't know, a uh, wind turbine or something. Anyway, funny card. Passes. We got Chakma, Primal and Miser. Uh, white, green, red, black for a 4-4 wall. A legendary wall. Are there any legendary walls in Magic the Gathering? Chakma, Primal and Miser. When Chakma, Primal and Miser enters the battlefield. You got it. Yeah, okay. That's, that's a cash money card right there. It's going to be when it when it is. It's I. If you think you are... Or how, how's the, what was the philosophical phrase? I think, therefore I am. That's Shackmal, Primal, and Miser. If I enter the battlefield, I do exist. <laughs> no, no defender, this wall can punch. I, if I'm not mistaken, like being a wall means that you always have defender. I could be wrong though. Yeah, I am, therefore... Yeah, in this case, I am, therefore, I am. Like a rock. Like a stone rock. It counts as entering the battlefield twice? I don't think so. When it er <laughs> Chakma Primal and Miser. When Chakma Primal and Wiser enters the battlefield, sure. So, you know, it is... It is who it is if it enters the battlefield. Yeah, Wells have Defender. Alright, so it does have... It's a 4-4 four, four Well with Defender. Even if the AI has not specified it. 
I think wall meaning defender was an old ruling they got rid of. I have no idea. Not all walls have defender. It used to be a case, but okay, okay, okay. So the the Zwires has uh, let us know that they got rid of it. They got rid of the rule because of changelings. Oh, this is a changeling anyway. Yeah, please notice us. We're a wall over here, damn it. Come enjoy the wall. And all the, I don't know. We got gold here. Come check us out. Mine away. Okay, walls can attack, otherwise changelings can attack. All right, gotcha. All right, well, um, I guess this can be a card. It's basically a four, 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 four mana. Let's let, we'll, we'll let it, sl we'll let it slide. All right, we got Harvester Bad Bad. It's a red 3-3 three, three human rogue with ingest. Oh, what was that? It's something like exile the top, just cards from someone's library. But it's like, it, it's supposed to specify a number, right? Harvester Bad Bad's power is equal to the number of attacking creatures. Well, if that's true, then why does it say three over here? Or can you only attack with three creatures when you attack with this thing? Mind you. Okay, so but what? Oh, maybe it's a 3-3 three, three on defense. But its power is equal to the number of attacking creatures. But when you attack, then uh, it changes. Does that also mean that if you don't attack at all, it becomes zero? Because you always, you technically always have to declare an attack. The attack would have like nothing. So if you have no creatures, then it's a 0-3 until end of turn. And then it passes to your opponent's turn. It's a 3-3 again. Yeah, it's a 3-3 outside of combat. What a weird card. King Ginger, ingest exiles the top card of the opponent's library when you deal um, CD. I have no idea what CD is. Oh, combat damage to them. Okay. When the opponent attacks, this also applies. Its power is equal to the number. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? You're right. This apply. This goes two ways. What a funny card. So if one creature attacks, it's a 2-3. If two creatures attacks, it's, it's only a 1-3. And it's a real garbage attacker, because if you attack with this thing and it's only a 1-3. What a weird card. So the power actually is completely useless. Well, maybe not. I guess you could sack this thing to fling or something like that, and and that might not, not to fling, but like there are some cards that will sack and check the power of a creature. But it's so weird. <laughs> what CD CDs? <laughs> you got me. Yeah, smash the like button. Thanks so much, TCG dude. Oh, right, anyway, um. It's a unique card, I guess. I don't know what the hell the ingest is for on here, but uh, I think outside of that, this is a pretty funny card. One mana, three, three. All right, you heard that. We're going to look at more AI-generated cards. Don't change that channel. we got to thank our sponsors here, though. we got to thank FusionGamingOnline.com. Commander Masters. Oh, God, is that coming out? What is the deal of the week this week? Save 15% off all board games. You know what's more exciting than board games? Cards. Things like from March of the Machine, Lord of the Rings, Middle Earth. Uh, pre order your stuff like Commander Masters today at fusiongamingonline.com. You can also go get your cards. It's the first place I look to buy my singles from Fusion Gaming Online and get use coupon code NIKACHU at checkout for 5% off all your purchases. We're also going to thank Mana Traders, the premier place for renting magic cards online. Magic Fest. Is it Magic? Yeah, it's Magic Fest Minneapolis is coming up. Oh my god, in a few weeks, I'm going to be there and I'm going to be prepared for Legacy. And I've been preparing Legacy with Mana Traders. Thank you for rent letting me rent my Dazes, Force of Wills, Wastelands, and the lot. So I can prepare for a format I don't own. You can support the channel using my Mana Traders link in the description below. Or save 10% off your first two months using coupon code NIKACHU underscore FHD for 10% uh, off your first two months. All right, now we go back to um, wild AI-generated Magic the Gathering cards. Yeah, the sponsor time. Sponsor jamming. Ingest is an Eldrazi mechanic, so that thing is an Eldrazi. All right, so if you say so. They, uh, them Eldrazi, they like to hide as uh, other creature types as sometimes. Spetter use. It almost, sound, it almost sounds like better use. All right, it's better use. 
Green, three generic for a 2-2 spirit. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may cast another spell this turn. Like, for free? I don't think so. You get, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may cast another spell this turn. Any amount of damage it deals to a creature is enough to destroy it. What the hell? That just didn't make any sense there at the end. It doesn't make any... You may cast another spell. They make it sound like that whole word, that sentence is a mechanic, and any amount of damage it deals to a creature is enough to destroy it. So, yeah, it's like it's like it gives, I don't know, the card Death Touch. It's true, one time I went on a date with this chick, took her home, turns out it was Kozilek. Oh, God. <laughs> When it has death touch, but only in reminder text. I guess so. How do you cast another spell at your upkeep, though? And it doesn't say for free, either. It just says, you may do it. Well, yeah, well, maybe I can just cast my spells like I normally do. Anyway, I think this is a stupid card. It's a vanilla creature, but with reminder text. Yeah, a lot of reminder text. That doesn't fit the, the usual text. Zada! Uh, Shotishik Pr Predator. A green, green, one generic angel. It's a 1 1 flyer with Devoid. The card has no color. Well, that's, that's very Eldrazi like. When a four planeswalker you control die, you may put it on the bottom of its owner's library instead. What the hell is a four planeswalker? Like four mana? Jace the Mind Sculptor? Um, what else is that? Four mana. Can't think of anything off the top of my head. Convenient! Then Demir does not stop what they can still lift in that. It's the four again. My favorite planeswalker, four. When a four planeswalker, or is it the loyalty? Maybe it's the loyalty. So like a four loyalty planeswalker, when it dies, you can put it on the bottom of its library instead. This seems good in a planeswalker drinking commander deck. Brandon thinks it's Zybers. He ran in four. <laughs> uh, the time will come when it will exist. Four Planeswalker. Next character get a spark confirmed. Didn't it make a four type Planeswalker? I don't know. Maybe. I don't remember. If anyone can confirm giving us the, uh, the link and the time code to that four Planeswalker, maybe this is the... Uh, the card that matches that set. This is Homeland's power level. Even if, if Homeland's had, you know, four, pla four Planeswalkers. It, it's a, it is a... I mean, outside of this ability, it's a 3-mana 1-1 one, one flyer. Which is pretty underwhelming. There is a legendary wall. Uh, Pramicon? Alrighty. Oxygen says, I know there was one. Okay, whatever. Okay, so if there is a like, literally a planeswalker called four, then you can put on the bottom. You can put on the bottom of the owner's library instead. We'll let it pass. <laughs> it's a little, little crazy. Okay, the Fastling Jaru, a green, green four generic for a three-three. Geo Marcy, the hell is that? Fastling Jaru enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it. All right, so far so good. Zero mana. Add one man of any color. That's broken. That that is that is infinite mana on one creature. It it danger. It's super danger. Okay, we found the danger card. Add one man of any color for zero mana. It's just yeah, it's just infinite mana automatically. It doesn't even tap to give us this. <laughs> infinite mana for for nothing. You get crank this out and play very easily. Okay, it is a creature though. That's the downside. It could die in response. In response to infinite mana, kill it. So make use of it right now. Unplayable in vintage. Oh, well, maybe. I don't know. I think this would see play in vintage. It's a one mana infinite mana combo. Yeah, move over, channel. Because we have and you can add one mana of anything you want. Like at least with channel, you have to. It's like, what is it, like only colorless and you have to deal damage to yourself? It's removable, so it's fair. 
you would just activate the mana ability again if you tried to target it. No, but like the point is you would have to, um, like let's say you had to play a sorcery to draw more cards to make use out of this. Uh, you could kill it in response to the sorcery. It's a new spike creature. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, I know you're talking like, uh, like spike feeder. It's part of the, it's, it's part of the spike feeder, not tribe, but, uh, cycle. <laughs> Jeru fireball. It just, yeah. <laughs> the new combo, Jeru fireball. Or fastling fireball. Literally dies to bolt, dies to everything. Pops, uh, bring back the spikes. Pops in the, the abrade. Mana abilities don't even use the stack, so you have to wait for the next spell. No, but this, uh, this is not a mana ability. This is literally an activated ability for zero mana and a colon. So it's not a, I'm not interpreting this as a, is this a mana ability? I'm not interpreting this as a mana ability, but maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, the point is, like, you can have infinite mana no matter what. Um, even if you use the stack. But if you try to draw cards, you could kill this thing in response. Mana abilities are any abilities that produce mana. Well, not any ability that produces mana. There's a little bit of a card called Deathrite Shaman that removes cards from the graveyard and then adds mana to the mana pool. But uh, is not considered a mana ability. Okay, it produces mana, so it's a mana ability. Uh, anyway, I, I don't know why we're here for so long. This deserves the big buzzer. This is a stupid, stupid, stupid card. Com Instant Commander Staple. Uh, where the hell is this? Do we have to su do we have to start supporting? This is a notice that your app has been suspended. Well, that doesn't sound well. I guess we gotta we gotta post things manually. Okay, we got the Padakic Captain, a red 2 generic 1-2 Nymph. Whenever you cast a spell that's noted with a server, it enters the, with a creature, fight target creature you don't control. It's like, it's accounting for the fact that it's a digital card. Whenever you cast a spell that's noted with a server, well, how the hell do I know that? The coders would know that. The software engineers and programmers would have noted it with the server. Each each deals damage equal to its power to the other. Sometimes he reaches when the mirrored in Jace bin core. Oh god, we're getting we're getting an internet plane, that's right. <laughs> yeah, the internet plane. Full of uh, servers, coders, algorithms. Yeah, a new card for alchemy. Yes, <laughs> systems admin finally gets their own card. Absolutely. <laughs> Blue screen of death. Destroy all, like, I don't know, restart the game. Yeah, yeah, that would be... Yeah, blue screen of death, restart the game. Keep life totals where they are, though. That would be an interesting card. Does that card exist? Restarting the game, but all life totals have to remain the same. Are we going to get a planar chaos? Uh, sorry, planar chase commander card that's like changes or activates the plane? I don't know. Legendary Frexian Elon Musk internet plane. Delete system 32, lol. Well, anyway, uh, this card makes no sense to me, so. He yeah, had the backwards uh, Charizard. So, anyway, we're going to, uh, we're going to say no. No to the Padakic Captain, whatever that means. Uh, Kugane, Mishra's Mystic. Pretty sick art. We got a black one generic 3-1 goat. This is the goat, Goat Vigard, with Evolve. So it can get bigger if you have, like, uh, you keep playing creatures with either higher or higher power or toughness entering the battlefield. At the beginning of combat on your turn, Create a 3-3 blue king soldier creature token with trample. That is broken. So effectively for two mana, for two mana, you get a 4-2 creature at the very least. And you get a 3-3 blue trampler. This, yeah, it danger. 
This is it's not, no, this is a constructed bomb. This is better than Tarmogoyf ever dreamed of being. Because it has evolved. So the 3-3 three, three enters the battlefield. The 3 toughness is bigger than the uh, the 1 toughness here. So it's immediately a 4-2. And next turn, it's turning into a 5-3. Because it happens at the beginning of combat. So you effectively have a 5-3 for 2 mana. And 2 more 3-3 three, three creatures. It's more broken than Oko. It's 0 mana. You keep making these stupid king soldier creature tokens. This is the goat. Yeah, the... The goat is too good. It's Zyber's hard. Yeah, Zyber for all. But it's still broke. It's still a danger. Danger big time. Better than Mountain <laughs> It's completely broken compared to Mountain Goat. Yeah, this would be... <laughs> well, it is a rare. At the very least, they made the goat a rare. Looks like a card they would print a commander set. I don't know. This, this looks ridiculously awful. Legacy and uh, this would rival everything in like Legacy and Vintage. Evolve just adds counters for power, not toughness. Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Evolve mechanic MTG. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure it's both ends. Evolve goes both ways. A creature with Evolve gains additional plus one, plus one counters whenever another bigger creature enters the battlefield under the same... Oh, where'd you go? Uh, under the same player's control. Uh, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, if that creature has greater power or toughness than this creature, put a plus one, plus one counter on this creature. Settled then. Power or toughness. Yeah. That's okay. We, we're all learning around here. You have no idea how stupid I've looked on camera. At least you're not on camera. You're not the one streaming. <laughs> I'm the one streaming. I've made so many mistakes on camera. It's embarrassing. Oh, well. I just, I'm just used to it at this point. If you think about it, with a toughness of one, pretty damned easy to kill. So some, uh, it tried to balance that creature. Well, not really. Like, by the, the moment you hit combat, it's already like a 4-2. I mean, yeah, you could kill it, but you're still going to get the... I mean, okay. So, I mean, in theory, if you can kill this immediately, it's like fair-ish. But, practically speaking, it's going to probably at least get a blue king crab on the battlefield. Sorry, not blue king crab. Blue king soldier with trample. It dies to everything except Doomblade. And well, I mean, you could kill it, but it's still you could still get a three three out of the deal. Just play counter magic or hexproof at. Well, counter magic might not work when the, your opponent's playing this on turn two on the play. Seven power on turn two. It's more like eight power, because you have because uh, you're gonna get another token, another three three that will boost the four two into a five three, and then you can attack with your five three and your three three that you got on the first turn. So it's actually 8 power by turn 3. Really sick. If a person made made this, it would be a fail. For AI, this is damn impressive all around, all I'm saying. This, you know, the, I like the idea. Imagine a 2 mana, like, 0, 1 that puts, I don't know, a 2, 2 in play. That's pretty interesting. And then that thing would get, like, then the original creature would become, like, a, a 1, 2 and then turn into a 2, 3. But this, this, as designed, is just insane. I mean, you can't have this thing around here, so this definitely is a fail. I like the idea, though. Socklerin! Blue, one generic instant. Choose one. Gain control of target creature that was dealt damage this turn and untap all green creatures. For two mana! Gain control of target creature that was dealt damage this turn. Oh, interesting. I like it! I think that's really cool. It, you don't get like hard, like control magic for two mana, especially at instant speed. But like, if it was dealt damage, you get to keep the creature. <laughs> green, not yeah, it's green, but not green. Again, more food for the Simic decks. Oxygen is like, oh god, the Simic players don't need this. Don't give them more fuel. Well, we need it for the Simic deck, my precious. 
Do some decks easily like just ping other creatures for like a little bit of damage? Uh, out of color pie ability, nice, should have the Simic symbol. Broken and elves. Oh yeah, like attack with everything. Uh, one creature gets dealt damage and then you could gain control of it and un untap all your creatures. Yeah, use with the green mana dorks. I didn't think about that. Maybe it would just be good as like just untapping all your green creatures. Simic elf ball, which sort of already exists. There are a lot of... If if Elves takes another color, I mean, sometimes they go black for, you know, uh, what's it called? The the Elf that enters the battlefield drains life, but also sometimes they go blue for, like, the, that combo potential that it has. Yeah, Yoink, the big thing. You know, this is a great card for mind games. Socklerin is a great mind game card. So you just, like, go all out attack a player... And they'll be like, well, if they got Sockler in, they're going to steal my big creature. So do you know what? I'm just not going to block any of this stuff at all uh, and be safe to keep it. Not green, Nikachu. Geen. Oh! It's all Geen creatures. Whatever the hell that is. How are we like two minutes into this card and you guys are just letting me know right now? All right. So uh, not very good in Elves. Apparently useless in elves because there are there's no geen creatures in there. What the hell is a geen creature? <laughs> Look off camera. Does is geen mean anything? It's Dutch for no. Okay, that's much we all know. So any any Dutch players uh, untap all no creatures. It's a Dutch card. Finally, the key card I need for my geen tribal. Only works in... Yeah, I guess so. Only works... <laughs> the shapeshifters. But, you, well, I mean, outside... You only have to choose one. You don't have to choose both. I think this is still a cool card for stealing the creatures. So, uh, it passes. It passes. I think it's Zyber's. That's a Zyber card. Forgotten Heart. It's a land that adds no mana. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, you may exile it. If you do, search your library for a legendary card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Interesting. I, okay, I think I think it's Zybers. I think that's a cool card. I don't know how you could break it. I, I mean, if, if there's like a combo you guys know that I don't, then, you know, by all means. But I think this is a pretty neat card. It's a land. So it's a land drop that doesn't add mana. Uh, you have to sack one of your creatures, and when it dies, you can exile it. You can look for, like, some of your best cards uh, in your deck. But it doesn't go on the battlefield. It just goes into your hand. Whoa, it would become a staple and everything. You still have to sack your land drop for the turn. Skull clamp this with one ones. You, it has to be a non-token whenever a non-token creature you control dies. So you can't break it with tokens. <laughs> Aristocrats drink to this. It feels like the AI is becoming better at making cards recently. Uh, the AI actually is pretty good at making cards. It's just that they're not always entertaining. It's a tutor. It's definitely a tutor. Busted in command. Well, you can't look. I mean, well, you want to tutor out your commander. Your commander's right there in the command zone. It has, it has nowhere to go. It's more of a diabolic intent with manual sacking and skipping a land drop. Okay, so John thinks this, thinks this is just busted in Commander. Joda, Legend, Soup, and that's it. Either that or the AI users are making billions of cards and are just picking picking at uh, the cool ones. Oh, this is totally it. This is a curated list of the best. They, they, they churn through tons of AI-generated cards. There's a lot of stinkers out there. We are just looking at the best of the best. <laughs> the AI becoming MTG-aware. Like, how would I play this? The AI is now thinking, oh, this would be great in my Joda deck. The AI is like, well, I'd make a Joda deck. Well, how do I, how do I push it over the top? It also searches for Cradle, Mox, Amber, Opal, and oh, it does, does it? You can search your library for a legendary card. That's right. Hmm. Maybe, th maybe this does danger. What are, like, okay, so, like, Cradle is a good one to make a big comeback. 
like to come back from the deficit of uh, ha skipping your land drop. Sisse is a repeatable tutor as well. Yeah, but this yeah, Sisse costs mana. An AI card I got once when an opponent draws a crad, eat it. Oh god, eat them crads. Yeah, you could go get Kro Oh Oh, well, Crocus is banned in Commander, so like, who cares? Um. I think it's Cybers. I think I'm gonna give it a pass. I think it's cool. Too busted for you guys think it's too busted? I think you have to prove it. I think you gotta prove it. Prove it's busted. Okay, we got Skonked Cust. Whatever the hell that is. It's a creature. Um pay two tap, target player creates and planeswalkers you control. Untap turn! If you don't. Controllers X stroll 46 green. You control controllers target creature with Unsen's 518 color shroud. Haim, whenever skunked cussed horde target creature gets plus four, plus five. Powder, powered creature tokens you control with procs. Those creatures you control. Wow. Look at its arm. It's like the thing, as far as I'm concerned. This is the thing. This is what happens when it assimilates all creature types at once. You get this thing. You got the skunked cust. What a wild card. Anyway. Hard no from me. Anyone want to defend this one? Anyone think it's Zybers? Oh, G GWJ, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, Mr. Nikachu, sir, what does it mean to be Zyber? It means it's cool. It vibes. You print it. That's what it means when it zybers. It's this guy again. What does this mean? Funny AI card names. Burnator Samurai. Not Rakdos. Orzov Insurance Party. Oh god, come on. Give us that name. We got we need to see that card. The Orzov Insurance Party. Master Flower Pound. Oh god. Ska Tactics. Strangle Raver. Gruel Dying. Wartime Bears, we, we saw that one. Tide, Dijin Captain. You'll give the Vortex Flash an Eldrazi Dance. It's got to be some sort of earthquake effect, the Eldrazi Dance. Brutal Punishment. Okay, blue one generic sorcery with support six. Put a plus one plus one counter on each of up to two target creatures. Uh, what does six mean? It's like you put six of them on? Regenerate target creature. Huge color pie break. The Ur Dragon was impossible to some below and selfing his reminders to destroy, says Niv Mizzet. <laughs> Eldrazi dance in the Eldrazi house. No, in, yeah, in Ulamog's house. Is this broken? Does this put like six counters on each of up to two target creatures? Sounds really, yeah. Sorcery to regenerate. Well, I mean that is possible Because when you regenerate a card all you're doing is giving it a shield You're giving it a regeneration shield and then if it ever gets broken then you regenerate the creature. So it is legal It's completely legal Okay, it danger infect will have another new toy is that What is support six? does it mean it puts six counters on it if that's the case that would be broken in infect Put a plus one plus one counter on each of up to two target creatures. Support six would let you put a six six on a card, then make it regenerate endlessly. Endlessly? No. Just one just one turn. Because it's a sorcery. Sorcery regen isn't an issue when you use a three drop to ferry. That is true. Well, I mean the idea is you just send in the creature, and then if it gets blocked and it dies, big deal, you know? Brutal punishment by supporting and regeneration. How is that punishment? <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Complete favor flavor fail. Uh, one creature is up to two. Oh, yeah, up to two. Put a counter on each of up to two target creatures. So you can just put a, you can put it all on one. Oh boy, support N. Put a counter on each of up to N other target creatures. Then why does it say on each of up to two? I don't get it. 
You haven't watched anime, it seems. I haven't. It can be very brutal. Misfit in Demon Academy approves it. I have... Okay, I, I don't understand how this card works. Does anyone really know? Guys, regenerate doesn't remove the counters. No, it doesn't. It'll keep the counters for forever. Flavor tax might just be wrong. It means you put counter on 0, 1, or 2 creatures. Then what's the 6? What does support 6 mean? Okay, support 6 means you put a single counter on up to 6 creatures. Oh, okay, I got it. Then this is okay. This is, a, this is fine. It's a, it's fine. It's not going to be broken. It'd be useless and infect as well. It does get to keep the creature. It does get to keep the counter, though. All right, we got something from Legends. Uh, Knight of Kitteris. Uh, green, red, black, three generic, three, three spirit. Knight of Kitteris. <laughs> I don't know. That that just makes me that just makes me laugh. It's Zybers. Knight of Kitteris. Yes, it is a Knight of Kitteris. I I guess this might as well be the flavor text. Just to remind you, I am the Knight of Kitteris. You know, the best flavor text. <laughs> I think we might need an oracle explanation on that one. He was the Knight of Kitteris, and he's very proud of it, by the way. Yeah, spirits. The weirdest spirit, it's in Jund. It's like the opposite of what spirits usually are. Yeah, it not danger, it just be. It just be the Knight of Kitteris. Alright. Good job, Knight of Kitteris. Bog here. Blue, blue, two generic for a 2-2 two, two human wizard. When Bog here enters the battlefield, return to our permit to its owner's hand. That's pretty cool. Uh, and that's it. That That's the card. Sarkhan noticed used to function or takes you. You fight. You to this will Zendikar has find in allies. Pondering is yours to give it an honor. A stir, a stifling knowledge. Bing, Leon and Ormite. Flavor text is a whole fail, but I mean, the card is here is fine. It's four mana for a two-two that bounces stuff. The yeah, the flavor text is super, super hyper drunk here. The the flavor text don't make any sense anymore. It's really nice when the flavor text makes sense. It's a banger. All right, Dominary of the Hammer. Uh, blue, blue, two generic for a 3-4 angel. Blue angel? Are there any blue angels out there? With magecraft, whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, if Dominary of the Hammer is in your graveyard, destroy target spell. That's right. Blow it up. Makes no sense. Gronkus, thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, just want to say Knight of Kitteris. Don't we all? Thank you very much, Gronkus. Yeah, it's a pretty cool art. It's pretty cool. It's a very nice art for a card that makes no damn sense whatsoever. Yeah, destroying spells is funky. When I encounter spell, I don't always encounter spells, but when I do, I want to destroy them. While I'm simultaneously copying my own spells. Alright, thank you very much everyone for joining me today. Okay, we're gonna be we're back! We're back to our normal schedule, Monday to Friday, 11 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time. Be there or be square. Thank you, everyone, everyone for their support. Everyone who supports the channel with the Super Chats. Everyone who is a uh, member on YouTube and a patron on Patreon. Your support makes sure this pays for basically these things. I show up every morning because of all of you. And thank you also to everyone who shows up for, for the show, like Raya Bread, Nalia, uh, Tinsky Hunter, Old Boy, The Zvirs. P.M. Renji, Crab Tribe. We got Sarkhan, Dragon, Mr. Deadhead, Abzo the Jaded. Thank you very much because without all you guys, I'd have no show. So as usual, keep brewing up them coffees and we will keep brewing up the magic. And we'll keep waiting for the AI to brew up more cards. Uh, anyway, take care of your guys. Take care of yourselves and 